these are these chairs are too chic for me. <laughs> I can't get comfortable. They're too nice. Let me nice. take you in because I haven't seen God, you since I haven't you, sat in anything this since nice you turned morning. forty on Sunday, and I'm, I'm looking old. at you. You still look young. You still I do? look good. Yeah. You, you still I can't it. see you because I turned 40. Is so that just, right? You're blind now? Just like that. Are yeah. you wearing the glasses yet, or is that still a couple years? No, I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> Everybody's like, wait, I wear glasses. You know, a lot of people for their 40th birthday will have a big blowout. They'll maybe, you know, go on a trip, have their family, I did. friends. Oh, you did? Well, oh. no, not really. I did a different kind of blowout. Well, yeah, you had yeah. a different kind of blowout. You went on Twitter and attacked many of your celebrity friends. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up and I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I wanted to do something good with my 40th birthday because as I was going over the hill, I thought I'd do something nice. So I actually uh, just begged people for money. Uh -huh, I thought, you if you're a fan of mine, you deserve to give me money. Not only did you beg people for money, you threatened people. I did, yeah. yeah. But it was all for a great cause. I have the most amazing friends and people over at Family Reach, which is the most amazing charity. Check it out. Still going on, still donating. But in order to get money, I had to do some emotional blackmail. Ryan Reynolds, you asked for Hugh Jackman's cell number, fundraiser for your birthday, thought you'd try a little good old-fashioned blackmail. And then we see a picture here, and correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems to be Hugh Jackman putting his tongue in your wife Emily Blunt's ear. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so I've been real quiet about that for uh -huh. a long time. <laughs> and just thought, how much, you? How much? <laughs> so... I hope it worked. Uh, did it, was it worth it? Was the whole thing worth it? Did they it donate? We, uh, we made over, thanks to all the people who donated, we had so many amazing people donate, and uh, we made over uh, half a million dollars. Wow, that's a <laughs> lot of money. Holy cow. It's all you. Do you. you still love, I know you, you've been enjoying Brooklyn. Do you still love it here? More than ever. I was driving to work today, and I saw something. Because, you know, I went to elementary school in yep. Brooklyn, and I have a memory of how it was. And I was driving by the schoolyard, and all these little kids were on yoga mats doing yoga. Yep. <laughs> Those were probably my kids. <laughs> Are your kids in a, yeah. a school like that? Well, they're the instructor for me, and then uh, we set up a school. For I see. Stuff. That's not true. Everybody's like, really? Child yoga? Did you have to go through a whole thing to get your kids into school and yes. all that stuff? Yeah. Yes. What was that process like? Well, it was amazing. It's, it's all amazing and terrifying. But Hazel got into this school, and she's been going to this school for a while. And then Violet, our youngest, just got into the school. But I don't think she knew she was there for her, so there's like an interview process. And she's just sitting there talking to us, and everybody else is nervous about getting their kids in. And then all of a sudden, Hazel's teacher says, hey, Violet, want to come in, in the classroom and talk for a bit? That was the first time she knew it was about her. And she turned to my wife and went, oh, my god! <laughs> <laughs> that genuinely happened. <laughs> and so we got her an agent. She's, She's doing great. She's doing, yeah. You probably could get her some work yeah. quickly. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of work, when you moved, you moved to New York right out of college, right? I did. You went to Brown, moved to New York. Told my mom I want to be an actor in New York. And she said and I what? And she said, good luck, and I moved here and was a professional waiter. Yeah, you were a waiter where? <laughs> What places? Any that we might know? Well, I hope so. Some great places. Uh -huh. I just didn't stay there that long. I got fired. But um, oh. I was at uh, the Odeon. OK. Amazing place. Yeah. OK. It's slowly making its way across the room. Um, Blue Smoke. Is Blue Smoke? Yeah. OK. Oh. And then uh, one of my favorites and longest standing relationships was with uh, Sushi Samba. That's a famous one, right? Yeah. It is. They actually, I think it's the place where Sex and the City created the Cosmo. Really? Yeah. Everybody's like, that's not true. <laughs> OK, well, it is now. Where they had that scene where the Cosmo became the drink, yeah. everyone had to have I was all the shooting, time? Or, I was shooting. I was wishing I was shooting. Um, I was pouring shots. Um, at lunch, they shot upstairs while I was on, and that was the closest I had ever been to a television set. Is that the place where you taught me a very valuable lesson? We were at dinner one night, and I was like, I don't know what we want. Just bring a bunch of stuff. And you're like, never say bring a bunch of stuff. Don't do that at all. Why? Because we don't care about allergies. Uh-huh. <laughs> we don't care about what you like and don't like. They had these things at uh, Sushi Samba, if you've ever been there. I, I think they still have them. When you walk in, there's this decorative bowl of Japanese river crab that they call sawagani. OK. And everybody's like, oh my god, it's amazing. They're alive, and we're going to eat them. And, um, <laughs> but what people don't realize is they build this like crab-like ladder on each other and then jump out of the bowl. So if you watch them for a long time, they're escaping all the time. <laughs> so one day, we had a guy come uh, with a shoebox, and he said, hey, I just uh, found this crab uh, in my apartment. And I was like, oh, where's your apartment? And he goes, across 7th Avenue. <laughs> what? Up four flights of stairs. 
no elevator. So I was impressed. Yeah. And the manager was like, what can we do? And he said, well, I just wanted to know what he eats. I want to take care of him. And we had this sushi chef from Japan. Didn't speak much English, but was very good. And he said, uh, we said, what, is that? what do these things eat? And he goes, what? And he said, he wants to know what to feed them. And he goes, feed them? We <laughs> fry them. <laughs> and I was like, OK, it's all, it's all right. We shouldn't. That's OK. It's fine. Probably lettuce. It's, it's OK. John Krasinski is here. We'll be right back with John after this. That is action star John Krasinski and Jack Ryan, which premieres a week from today on Amazon Prime Video. What does your mother think about you jumping off roofs and stuff like that? She's always wanted me to do that. <laughs> when are you going to jump off a roof? That's, that brought back a lot of memories. That was, uh, that's scary Where was that? Stuff. Where that's did that in happen? London. Mm -hmm. Shot in London. I'm obviously going to London a lot with my half my family being there, but I had never shot there and never been almost killed there. Mm -hmm. Until but, that day. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where they're like, you know, you don't have to do a lot of it, just run down this roof, and you kind of get confident. You're like, you know what, I'm just gonna slide down the roof. And the stunt <laughs> guy's like, please don't do that. And I was like, it's fine. And then I did that slide and got to the end, and I was like, help, <laughs> help. So that's just before you see me looking around, I'm asking for help. <laughs> and very scared. And people down below on their lunch break were like, yes. <laughs> this is great. By the way, there's a guy in our audience right now with a Dunder Mifflin uh, sweatshirt on. And yeah! I'm sure you see that a lot. Yeah. I love the assistant to make sure we see it. That's the best. I hope somebody, I hope somebody has the initiative to edit Jack Ryan together with the office so we can see Jim like jump out the window and you know. We can. <laughs> Isn't it remarkable? Now, I'm, I meet people all the time because they know we're friends. They're like, you know, kids who are now watching this show yeah. in bulk. Oh, it's insane. I think when you're on a show, period, you think you've hit the greatest thing you're ever going to do, and no one will ever top that. And then now it's, I think, 50 times bigger. And usually I'd have, like, a guy my age come up and say, like, uh, love the office. And I was like, thanks. And now you just have, like, a four-year-old in an airport being like, you know what my favorite episode is? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of smoking here. <laughs> what? Everyone's Smo so old all of a sudden. Smoking children are yeah. watching this show now. I've been through it four times. <laughs> oh, it sounds like your throat's been through You're it. You're working on a sequel to A Quiet Place? I'm working on it. We just we finished shooting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Yeah, well, it's a great movie. You got a lot going well, on. Well, thank you very I'm much. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Happy much. birthday to thank you, you so and all much. that stuff. I He's it. a big action hero now, everybody. <laughs> Jack Ryan premieres a week from today on Amazon Prime. John Krasinski will be right back from Brooklyn. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on. <laughs>